in which all the SPL teams really battled it out and earned points to solidify themselves seeded one through eight. We're going to take those seedings and divvy everybody up into different groups. That's what the next four weeks are about. Four separate lands in which all the teams from the SPL come the to SPL Atlanta really to play their faces off to see who's the best and wind up in the Super Regionals. We've got four separate groups that we've divvied up teams based on their performance earlier in the split, and that's how we're going to get it done. Europe will be the first group, and that'll all start the weekend of October 7th through the 9th. The teams that we'll see there will be Bipolar <laughs> Method, master. Team Dignitas, Fantastique, and Sanguine. Bipolar Method certainly got off to a great start by being one of the top end teams and getting themselves locked in in a great group. Heading over to North America for the next weekend will be October 14th through the 16th. Luminosity, ALG, Eager, and the Randozo will take their stuff to Atlanta and try to see who winds up on the top of those. We four. play Eager, Randozos, that, we'll and back Luminosity. To Europe. October 21st through the 23rd, that'll be the time that we get to see Energy take on Obey Alliance, Cringe Crew, and Cyclone GG. Energy again got themselves in a nice old group thanks to their spectacular performance online during our four-week placement period. And then the final LAN weekend will be back to North America. That'll be the last weekend, October 28th through the 30th. So well, that group Halloween. right there Sword, is going Denial, to be fucking Envy, crazy. Enemy. Don't need any costumes for that one. All four Sword, teams are going Denial, to be and Enemy in the same group. And crazy. Definitely going to want to tune in for that Ridiculous. Land. So as far as we're concerned, all four weekends are going to be absolutely insane. Tons of competition and everybody really battling for the spots. An easy the group. Part about it I is mean, some of these low end teams, nobody I knows what happens that. on land. It's completely different than online. So you definitely want to tune in. Hi, Race TV is a spot to watch. Esports.smitegame.com. It didn't really break that learn. down very much. If you want any much. more information, make sure to follow us on Twitter at Smite Pro. Thanks. We could have talked about that time. for so much longer. Well, there you go. Group D is the land group of 15th, of death I think. In the SPL right now, D is definitely for death in that one. But enough of the SPL now. It's time to go into the patch, patch notes. notes. And as per patch usual, notes. we've got Chuck here, as always, to give us a rundown of the skins and what we're going to see on your screens. We're going to start things off with, well, the reason Rising Flames uh, it's not is not the worst Rising group. Flames, Fire Lord Naja is oh, finally yeah. here. A Naja oh, skin! Oh, shit. Right. Okay, the so, skins uh, actually. With the be good skin, um, there was a lot of interest in Naja being. Less androgynous than okay. in his Boy. lore. Uh, what the what? fuck? Oh, Pawn. What are you ah! doing? Oh, okay. Who was that? Oh, Yo, there's a dragon! We can't have nice things. Oh, there was a dragon! Oh. Every single what time! What was it? MVP Pawn. MVP Pawn. It was a dragon! This this week. Okay. Bro, well, what skin was that? Apologies for that. Home, is it a new god? Holy shit, it was a dragon, bro. Now you said, you know, um, looks a little it bit more was a there. fucking yeah, it, fact, dragon. I want to see the new god so bad now. Look He's just a badass now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they did crazy. make that skin so old, much better than the hero. fucking regular yeah, skin. Puberty. That's what we're kind of looking at here, right? Sure. Oh, it's a bat? I don't care. Just it looked so like a dragon. You know? And a fucking fair, giant head. In this game, I was calling that she. I, I've got to say that. I no, it there's was a lot, actually, We've there's a lot it. of people on the team that still can't just Get it right. remember that Naja is... It happens. Well, I'm done now when they see this skin in-game. Now, this is going to be able to be purchased in-game, correct, AJ? No, my balls. This is not part of the Odyssey. This skin is awesome. No chest. The skin you is really fucking good. Direct purchase it. anytime, all the time, forever. You yep. can be manly Naja. Yep, if you want your Naja to be manly, we'll cosplay you can just make it happen. Just get him. And he's going to run around on this one wheel and under main each. Focus on this skin. Obviously, I can see a bit of a color difference this time around. Just as well. a little bit of extra manly fire. It's black and orange. You know, just make it a little bit more dramatic. Kind of go with this orange. black and gold and red look. It would have been funny uh, if we were given girly colors. It even looks kind of like it's supposed to be a pink color. fire. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> we so what's go it called? Skin. Manly not, manly a not a diamond skin. The other one. So check this out. Oh, he's got voice. Oh, that did passive. You, did you notice flowers. anything there? I saw, I saw flowers. Some flowers. It looked yeah. like flowers. Pon, let's see that again. Show me the flowers, Pon. Hey, there's flowers. Oh. So we uh, actually updated the UI for Neja's alt. This is for all of the Neja skins. This is not just going to apply to this skin. It's going to be all of them. And uh, we had slight rules that were a little, why, 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 a little why, harder to see. And we just you, we gave that a whole new facelift with this petal uh, theme that is very, you know, reminiscent of all the rest of Neja's ability. So when the petals fill to full, you click the button, you get the crit. Yeah, it's, it's the very same rules. It's gray circle. was before a gray circle. Then it turned blue um, when you want to hit. The and two? then it turns red when you yeah. Look at that passive meter. The, the same thing is here, here now. Petaling. You. It's going to have a gray it's petals building up. It turns blue. David P. No. Thanks for the I sub, David P. You're getting mad like sub to K, so I appreciate it, brother. Something in the background the whole time. A little more threatening too, I say this one. Anytime we can replace 
aging art like those those criticals with something new and showing off our our, our, our new team. I like it. Last little look at the old man as well. Now, obviously, you heard, are you afraid of heights? He's got a bit more of a manlier voice this time around as well, as you can tell. And he's also got a voice pack to come with this one, too. Can you get Whoopee! that right, Pom? Good. That was wild. You're awesome. Yeah, this How voice pack sucks you? dick. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Just triggered? oh, that's good. How that's triggered are you right taunt. now? That's good. Are you just going to stand there? Okay. That's fucking good. Your therapist, go first, Nasha. <laughs> well, the actual voice. I like my wheels. <laughs> Too hot to handle. Ooh. Yo, Mama is so fat, I have to skate around her for exercise. Oh. I like that you try to compete wow. with me. <laughs> At least you have a goal, if an unrealistic one. Attack left lane. Just <laughs> burns. <laughs> What's his woohoo? Whoopee! 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 Yeah, Whoopee! yeah, that's the manliest thing that's, about right. this. Yeah, that's, that's pretty. All right, we've seen still enough of the yeah. skin. That's on. pretty show badass. Show me the new fucking Whoopee! god and show me some I tank boots there. Chat has now been triggered. Yo, light yes. up that you light up that spear for me. Triggered. Oh, wait, how many people are triggered? A considerable is so number. triggered right now. So we get that trail added to oh, it? Oh, that trail. Oh. Awesome. Yeah, the how, how difficult team. are those effects to do, Chuck? You know, we've, we've actually getting that animation stuff ready for it. Is it very difficult? Um, yeah, I mean, it's not that much more difficult than the original skin. It's just kind of a visual reimagining of stuff. Um, it's a little more hey, tricky when upon. you're doing it the first it. time, especially the really hard stuff, which... I like it too. Animation dependent and you know faster things. I like the idea that they went like a flame with. fire. Uh, it's a little complicated. Well, Pom Pom got his first achievement yeah. ever in the game of Smite. There, as you saw I on your it. screen. Watch this. Good job, Pom Pom. It's yeah, we watched was something it the, earlier. I oh. showed the wrong <laughs> thing. Achievement. Yeah, that's, that's how you look. It's really that's, exclusive. That's a Pom Pom only achievement. That one too. Okay, though. Next up after the Naja, we still have more skins to show you, and this one is Monster oh. Trainer Erlang Shen. Oh, this was a completely what? unique IP yeah. construct that we came up with. So yep, original. Just, yep. Yep. That's we wanted to be the very got? newest. Yep. It's a like, guy who was. Was. That's right. goes to the That's Great right. Wall of China and captures monsters, particularly <laughs> this, I think this sporty see, looking dog. See what Twitch <laughs> okay, Pokemon. Test uh, to show his archives. Yeah, dude. Perhaps. You guys Perhaps. are the worst. And here he is in game <laughs> right now as well. He's on a mission to What's collect and transform into a variety of exotic animals. What's the dog called again? Well, I believe you named him Bobo. I did during name him because I didn't show. know his name. I was like, I'm just gonna call wow. him Bobo. His name is it's actually, actually his name. No, his name is Howling Celestial Dog, <laughs> but he has a translation, right? Do you know how to pronounce the original? H S D. <laughs> no, I it's call H -C -D. him Bow. Bow. Yeah. Bow. So I just say Bow Bow. I just say Bow. Like, <laughs> with an accent. That's what his it was. name is like Howling the, Celestial Dog in Chinese, which the, sounds like a name. The but. reason I'm bringing up Celestial Dog is the fact that he's got those runes almost on him, like lightning marks on him as well. Which yeah, I really that's his like. typing. For this skin, he's named Bruce. Bruce. What the fuck sure. is on his head? Now, Why was his yeah. head all shiny? Well, if you want to no, play with Bruce. The internal working name was Stanley. <laughs> oh, really? But it didn't feel good. So Stanley. He doesn't feel like a Stanley. He runs like a fucking dipshit. So Wait, why does he still turn into a turtle? Yeah. He's not got cannons though, so that's good. That is true. Original IP. Also on the. I love the how game. the turtle always looks so uncomfortable when he's flying through the air, like, oh crap. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the, the, the turtle is using surf. So, lack of control. Or <laughs> like, should use surf. So yeah, we got some pretty sweet high-tech effects up, changes. You missed the ninja um, skin. For it Monster almost like, looks like the ground is an arena at certain yeah. points of that, too. I really like that idea. Very original. Dude, very I swear that looks like a fucking Pokeball in the middle of that shit. Look at it. It's a Pokeball. Yeah, perhaps. Maybe another. That's a good word. That uh, Coliseum's definitely now the, very, very mythology based, too. Now, if the Naja is on the other team, he has a red and white color scheme. Which is another intentionally unique. I was I was about element. to ask, will we see potentially in the future, Chuck, here, rival monster trainer skin come you out? You know, I don't know. If we have more guys that have pet dogs and turn into animals. Scotty has a pet. Scotty. Which is unique to Erlang Shin and his lore. <laughs> right. Scotty doesn't transform though. But oh, that's true. Mean, but she does have a monster that is trained. She does. Well, if we go quiet for a second here, just use those abilities uh. again, Pop, because he does say different lines here that are very interesting references. Not your oh. mirror. What? 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 I am the animal's keeper. Okay. You're He's catching. Oh, what? Oh no! It is like a fucking Pokeball, bro. He's actually capturing enemy players. I will force you to fight Pokeball. other animals to the death. <laughs> <laughs> it's a well, Pokeball, the man. Name, if we do a rival shit for for Scottish dog, would definitely have to be um, Gary. I think. I, Gary. That yeah. Bruce and Gary. Steve, we referencing Steve. Okay, voice pack time, boys and girls. <laughs> pump on. Take it away. 
You're a beast. Totally awesome. I'm so punny. You're just yeah. unbearable. Oh, there so. should be no more endangered animals. I what? won't allow you to harm anyone. Pretty Did you hear about the lion that ate the comedian? I don't like this. His stomach felt funny. <laughs> oh, this oh. Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side, duh. <laughs> Hate animal jokes? It's ear elephant. What? Oh, oh no. no. That was actually physically painful. I thought we cut Yeah, the these are actually, bad. Honestly, Who the done. fuck I, made I'm pretty, these? I'm pretty, yeah, we need the, we need the fuck wrote ask, these? Bad, chat man. is triggered again. Cause, cause that chat actually is just Come hurt my soul, dude. Hold <laughs> oh, that hurt my soul, bro. BG? You know, but that'll be I great. Do when you just pump up. Why, why do we not hear pump on it? Did you, you know when like, you're in a conversation and someone says something dumb, you just get them to walk away? Yeah. That would be that moment. you know? Oh, I'm open. so funny. There You're is. a beast. Cancel that. And there you have it. There you have it. The monster trainer. The training monster. Erlang Shen. All right. Punny, punny skin. Show me the boots, like, nerf. Of the Odyssey as well, I believe. Boots. He is, yes. So uh, this patch is when the Chinese. Oh, so you have to buy this shit. Venue of the Odyssey is opening up. Erlang Shen being the first skin for it, and the next one will be. Well, why do you And you won't it, even AJ? have to leave your house and walk around. You know. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Hey. Night owl. Wow. Second skin. Oh, yeah, the awesome. dragon looks yeah. fucking awesome. Yes. So. Uh, uh, I don't yeah, know. What's he gonna look like in game? about Kwong skins is that it's Al Kwong, mm. <laughs> and that's why we don't have that many of them. Uh, this why, started why, why, off. When you say that, why yeah. is it that we don't have too many then? When you because say like Al Kwong turns into a giant dragon. That's true. So it takes a lot of words yeah. to point to the dragon it's, too. I guess. Yes, yes. It's a lot. Skin the gods. Skin the dragon. So well. this kind of started off as as a fairly low tier skin. Um, but uh, it just kind of kept going, and we kept adding more things, and yeah, uh, then we added an entirely other Kwong? dragon, and then. Man, it just we really we really ended up with some extreme tier three. The thing on his shoulder is pretty fucking like dragon head on his shoulder. Awesome. Skin here, you know, with the cogs and things going yep. on with it, and the monocle, a lot of detail. Like, but flying disc. I don't know. I have heard the voice pack for this, and I'm very disappointed. But I it's can't okay. hate it. We'll, we'll get past I can't love it either. Dare you? Plus the dragon I'm looks offended, fucking great. Because you can guess where it's going. Then his aura looks like it has a false sense of depth. It's really cool. The turning cogs at the bottom is the most interesting. But his ability is better. Most look different, outside of probably like making the dragon version here, Chuck, what's the most difficult thing about a skin like Alquan? Um, Alquan. Well, okay, yeah. the dragon is really the main thing, but Alquan has a lot of very specific particle systems. He's got a lot going on. Um, you were supposed to save that problem. You just spoiled okay. things already. The dragon looks cool. That is amazing. Yeah. Well, the dragon looks the good. The clockwork dragon came yeah, out. Yeah, that's really. a good yeah. looking dra yeah. a dragon. Clockwork looks dragon. Cool. We went ahead and used that. the see it. second dragon and not the original um, Chinese tube dragon. Mm. Just because we thought it would work better, making a clockwork tube uh, was not going to be nearly as cool. It is amazing. Yeah, the, the big fantasy dragon, I think, works really well for this one. <laughs> yeah, the, the way yeah, it's awesome. those wings well is beautiful. Those it, are really it cool. really a seep on focus. Yeah, yeah nice. Well, that's so much nice fucking detail into really those. show off the beauty of the evil Alphonse. Look at Pon Pon's artistic use of slow motion. Yeah. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. That's what happens when you get crazy with the dev commands. We, we yep. can't slow mo dragon. You you didn't just, learn. just when we were complimenting you, <laughs> yeah, you well. crashed the client. Oh, he did How pull off. You right now. I'm pretty sure he's good. Bro, why is he wearing strapped on sandals? Slow mo. I had to get him some Jordans. Go up in the air, then yeah. do cam I was really proud of myself. I gotta get that dude some Jordans. Next time I go to Lambs. right? Yep. You just gotta get fish some Jordans. Um. So while he's fixing that, <laughs> I guess we'll have to come back to one in a little while, Pom Pom. Yep. Thanks very much. Although there is other abilities on that skin as well. We only saw the three in the ultimate as well. Obviously, the one with the illusion has effects, as does the two as well. The dragons around him all have different effects with that as well. And a voice pack, as it is part of the Odyssey. We can what? actually bring up, though, in the meantime, Al Kwong, while we were doing this skin, we also updated the mastery card for Al Kwong as well on his mastery. Oh, yeah, 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 so, yeah, so we know that everybody loves these. Yeah, as we Great. established um, last show, we're going to attempt to uh, update bar. the masteries for all the guys in the patches that they're getting skins. Um, and sandals. I personally was waiting for Al Kwong to Those don't even look like Jesus sandals, bro. That really is really Chuck's favorite god, it I is. believe. What's your favorite skin? This is main. I mean, I use... Um, uh, Dark Knight. I my man some Jordans. I made all the effects for that. Oh, I like the, the color. Did you make all the effects for the punk, the steampunk version? I did not. No? I did not. I don't get to do that now. Yeah. 
<laughs> Way to make me promoted. sad. You get I'm promoted. Sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's, that's what happens. Yeah, we just do that we'll we'll away from Chuck. So while we're waiting for Pompon as well, I'll just quickly go over the achievements next because you all love the achievements. I'm going to show these guys here alongside me will be able to help me out with those achievements too as we look there through the them and, uh, and give you some advice on how we do it. Measure will be the first one that we have a little look at here. Two is a crowd as Najar bounce universe ring toss between two enemy gods, hitting at least twice. Hitting each, each, each at least enough. twice. Sorry. This is a fun one, though, because you know you get in that situation where you get trapped against a Naja, mm -hmm. but just with your other teammate and the rings just go boom, boom, and it just feels like it hits you a million times. Does it, yeah. does it, it doesn't affect turrets and things like that to help you out get that, though, right? Um, I don't yeah, go think... Yeah, go turret, go turret, go turret, go turret. No, it is says that two gods on animal, dude. I believe, and so. on top of that, it says, watch this is the other Naja achievement. As Naja stun an enemy using armillary slash, then... Is that like... Them. What the fuck is that? This is that, just that your, your that classic stuffed animal in front of them. It These looks cool, but I don't know what it is. Achieve. Well, some of them are just to train you on the god in a very, you know, strong combo. And we're going to see oh, a lot of measure. Do you need to remove the D2A or level that? Oh, yeah, yeah, I can move that. Hold on. I'm not yeah, missing anything so. yet, don't worry. manly versions of those as well. Following that, we also have Kronos with mm. Rewind. Oh. As Kronos, you use your ultimate while you're below 15% health. And it doesn't really look like Fenrir, though. Full health. So that's a kind of a timed version, that really, more than anything else. That's a tough one. Yeah, that's... that's. That yeah. means you gotta take a ton of damage. I got you, I got you. When, when Clockwork Al Kwong tries to 100 to zero you, and just before he goes to the execute, yes. you ult, and get all the way back to 100%. Bat battleground of the clocks. As long as you get it before the that's warm up. I am on with the wireless. <laughs> good. Uh, the hands of time, as Kronos get a kill with each quadrant in your passive wheel of time. That's actually very difficult. Does yeah, anyone actually right. grind out achievements? Like, than others. like is there someone with every like, achievement? Okay, yeah, use Sobex pluck. <laughs> is that is that what it says? I think I you mean, have to hit a lot of plucks. Like, that's a tough the achievement, wall. actually. It's a lot of plucks. But that one, Hand of Time, is really rough. Yeah, yeah even that's... during the mana regeneration one, that means you need to get a kill exactly. while it's active. And the final one for the achievement section here is obviously we're fixing Pompon, who's broken, as per usual. Uh, Sylvanas, feel my wrath as Sylvanas knock up three or more enemy gods with your ultimate. That badass angry Grover icon is. The icon is. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> some of these achievements are like new, super like, fucking that's a new easy. Picture and the right final there. one of the achievements for you boys and girls at home is rooted as Sylvanas root twenty enemy gods in a single game. Guys, we're landing them. Quite a long game that. Gotta have lots of skill shots. Quite a long game. Pump, are you ready? Mm, not yeah, a so long I think game. I actually, have gotten back in the game. I'm gonna stay away from the dragon form just because I'm afraid. <laughs> it's alright. We gotta see the other well, effects on the voice box. Yeah, Pump. Hello, Pompon. Pom. Hello. Here he is. Okay. And there we go. So, back to the clockwork. Alquang skin one more time here. We've already seen the dragon, but we've got a few other abilities right. to show you off as well. That Tell Pom me Pom some abilities, Pompon. Not to show us to begin with. So, here's his basic attacks. Are those bubbles? Those are like little oh, cogs. gears. Are they okay? Yeah, they're cogs. Yeah, they're little gears. Mm. And the illusion? Okay. Another cog. Oh, oh nice. There's literally a second yeah, cog skin in the game. That's cool. Yeah, no, Cognitive was back. The ground. There you go. What is this it, shit? Detonates as well. Cogs do come off. I like the lightning That's coming so out of the ground. Like and his usual dragons. Kind of difficult to make the dragons any different without making sure you can understand what they are. I think if you, yeah, fire, if you yeah. fire them, Pond, take a mm -hmm. shoot them at fire them. That's yeah, definitely a different color yes. on that projectile, yeah. yeah. There's a different treatment on that, yes. And okay, so these abilities are all Show the relatively one more time similar. Pond's getting all the achievements today! Yeah, man. Fail at doing his job and still gets Killing achievements. Killing spree silver. Playing doing on a fresh it. account must be it's nice. It's especially challenging on um, crash AI non-mobile <laughs> Odins that can be spawned at will. Oh, you can't will. even hit that other Odin. That's yeah, too... it's sad. Yeah, I know, right? Feels bad. Oh, there nice. we go. Well, we've also got the voice back as well, though, Pond. Mm -hmm. yeah, if you're ready with this one. What up, Wesley? I know Your everyone's aces. commenting about the baby dragons being the same, but they're even the same on the other skin. Your um, aces! Brilliant! That's just the thing. Boy, the dog's bullets! Is Boy, the dog's bullets! I wish I get 2,000 <laughs> of these to give away. Ask Tina why he's the dog's bollocks. <laughs> you As I understand it, that's, that's a saying they use across the pond. Yeah, why do you um, think? Because I love this British. voice box. <laughs> yes, he's British. Are, you, are they says, saying that that's the best part of the dog? Is that what I people say? I don't know say? why they have the saying. I mean, we do. But he's saying it because they have the saying. Does but it's it not often we say it. But does it mean I'm great? <laughs> I mean, yeah, but it could also be used negatively, too. Or sarcastically. Like, mm, he's the dog's bollocks? Yes. That's bollocks. Is another it? saying that we can offer some yes. say I don't. I've never heard of this shit before It's a very interesting voice pack, this one, boys and girls. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> right. The English never people right now are like, what the hell? Yeah, there's more to go through. Yep. Is that an English sound? Grind my gears. Nice. You're a right wazzock. 
That's Why what I'm saying. Dogs <laughs> I've never heard Wazak said in the UK. You're is right, Australian, wa maybe. maybe. We got mixed Tina up. Tina doesn't know the difference between UK <laughs> and Australia. <laughs> She's our <laughs> most international designer, <laughs> too. Fuck? How many assistants does it take Tesla to screw in a light bulb? <laughs> Tesla doesn't need light sockets. Electricity Why are jokes. so many steampunks uh, fashion okay. icons? They have the best gear. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Yeah. And there you have Attack. it, boys and girls. <laughs> oh, the laugh. Oh, that's good. Do do laugh spam. He's got something wrong with his neck though when he does that. Do that again. That's pretty good. He's just cackling. <laughs> uh, yeah, where is he going? His poor neck. Oh, she have whiplash tomorrow, that's I'll for sure. I'll tell you about it. <laughs> <laughs> At least it was worth flag to get a good chuckle out of it. That's the Al Kwong skin for you guys. It's going to be part of the Odyssey, as we mentioned before. And we're going to go into the item balance of the game. No, we oh, the my! No! Yeah. No! I want to see those. Oh! No. I mean, we got the cards, <gasps> oh, so we should have the okay. masteries. Yeah, there we go. Look, look at that. I'm Nobody told me how to get some skins. Yeah, you did it fast. No, no, no. Oh. Skins. Nobody wants to see gold and legendary. Yeah. yeah, legendary, oh, please. To Chuck. Legendary I thought he was flicking somebody yeah, off, bro. Have the to go through all of them. Yeah, Could you imagine the if the god so flicks people off? Yeah, exactly. This so, is yeah, such a good fucking No skin. more solid golden face Very weak, for Al Kwong. Although his face is already kind of gold. I was it's, about to say that. Yeah. <laughs> it's fleshy in, yeah. in it's color. dragon flesh. Now, Definitely. what I want to see is the diamond, because that was my least favorite of the original Al Kwong Master. You are Diamond Al Kwong, right, Chuck? Yes, I am. So, yeah. you could be rocking this one now. Yes. I like the tint on his hair. It kind of yeah. matches his hair. I want to see the dragon. I want to see the dragon. Oh, that's a good oh. question. That's a good point. Let's see. Are oh, the, the dragon in the colors? colors? Yo, it's going to crash. Diamond. Don't Will get pawn crash on again. all of them. Oh, no. I, I will try not to crash. Please don't crash, Pond. Don't crash, Pond. Just don't do slow mo. Yeah, don't do slow mo. It's probably I slow mo. I actually think it's camera roam. Yeah, maybe don't, do don't do any of this. Maybe it's slow. I've arisen yeah, from the up. ashes. Hey, hey Ryo! A year here, too, dude. Holy tear. shit, where you been? What are they they're Z Z Zing about? What are they Z Zing about? Uh, mastery uh, skins, I guess. All they do is ask us for more mastery skins, though. Oh, there's a diamond yeah, dragon. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. That looks pretty right. good. That doesn't nice. look very good. <laughs> cool. All right, okay, All right show me the <laughs> items, bro. <laughs> okay, right. What gave you that clue there? Thank you so much for joining me, gentlemen. What is this for? Uh, these three will be back at the end of the show to talk through any questions you guys have. You can tweet at us, hashtag SmitePatch, all one word. We'll read through your questions and give you as many answers as we can at the end of the show. Mm -hmm. But for now, it's time for me and Pon to get back to what we usually do. And that's do terrible things with the game. Well, I'm actually <laughs> sad because I missed all achievements. Him? That's what I'm used to looking forward to. I'm sorry, Pom, but if you don't make mistakes, you get to do the achievements with me, you know? One day you'll get on the set, but you can't even do a simple thing that made the computer work. <laughs> so, into game we go, well, into the patch we go here, and items are here right now. I'm going to start Come things on. off straight away, Pom, Pom, Boots. with Hydra's Lament. Yeah. What? Hydra's Lament, this patch, is going to have the first buff, and it's going to be increases MP5 by 2.5 per 10% of your mix missing maximum mana. Mm -hmm. Not only that, it's also going to get a physical power buff from 30 to what? 40. What's the reason, Pom? Yeah, so Hydra's Lament was kind of an item that was really, really situational. Uh, you had to be a character who could make use of the cooldown reduction, who weaved basic attacks in between every single ability cast, and then you had to have some form of augment to really make that bonus f attack power work worth it. Loki mm -hmm. had it with backstab, but even he was questionable with it, and so it was just simply too niche for what it a did. Oh, Elix! So we're kind of giving it a new identity while allowing that niche to be kind of a nice bonus if you can make use of it. Okay, would you see this maybe replacing some of the gods picking up transcendence at all? Uh, it'll be interesting because transcendence gives way more power and it gives way more base mana, and so way more base mana just means that you can cast more. Where this one is, you kind of have to pace it out a little bit, but over the long period you can cast more. Okay. Um, gonna it's do also shit. got cooldown reduction, so it's a little bit different in where you'll use it. If they had up the CDR or power, something. Good scaling. Or added something other than mana. If you're looking for some cooldown reduction and mana regeneration, and you can make use of this. It literally so just affects well, Loki and, and my Wheelix, I guess. Yeah. I build them in a Wheelix. that have been very upset just lately are going to get the best news ever today. We're going to do reinforced greaves and reinforced shoes next. Now, what are you doing? Pump, pump, pump. We buffed them last patch, mm -hmm. and what are we doing this patch? So we're nerfing them. <laughs> we're not buffing them again. I am shocked. <laughs> shocked. Are you shocked? Shocked. Thought you would be. 
Does yeah. the community. What's the reason for the nerfs and what's the aim of these nerfs? Uh, so when we initially buffed it, it was because we kind of wanted the tank boots to become used. They were largely ignored. People hadn't they were used, used. Them in months, if not ever. Mm -hmm. What? Um, and that's just because there was a lot better options there. And the better options were, I want more gold regeneration than I want tankiness. And you want an option they for the players used. who want to play tanky to have that choice. <laughs> um, and so we buffed it to give it a little bit more protections. And that kind of, that made it too much because okay. base 150 health on assassins and squishy mages and warriors is really good and it makes the protection they're only really gonna nerf the so hp bro health or had lower health the bro they're gonna, they're gonna nerf so only the health we're taking some of the health away and we're also adjusting how the passive works to make it so that okay really only characters okay. who are base tanky already are going to really be able to make use of these well, the first okay thing to show me the good. reinforced greaves will have the first change the only individual change of these two bits mm. where the power of the reinforced greaves the physical version here is going to drop from 15 to 10 what's the reason for that first of all before i go through the rest um, we want to make it match the lowest possibly that it could be because these are tank boots these aren't meant to yeah. be offensive and so that just matches the tier two power which is the thank 10. goodness now, man both sets of these boots then reinforced greaves and reinforced shoes have going to have the following changes done to them Re reduce the health from 150 to 75 yes. decrease <laughs> on top of that reduce the crowd control reduction from 30 percent to 20 percent 10 percent increase mm -hmm. and finally the passive the protections reduced from five per stack to three per stack and increase the maximum amount of stacks from five to that's six tanky as so fuck. 18 for each side of protections correct? yes that's 18 oh so but, uh, it takes more stacks as well to get there. Yeah, so the big thing there is less health means it's going to be less viable on characters who are squishy kind of to begin with. Mm -hmm. um, so you kind of need to be tanky to make use of these. And then you also have to get hit more to actually get the full benefit, and the full benefit is less than it was before. So oh. you're not going to be able to get take two hits and have 10 protections. You're only going to be at six, and you're also going to have 75 okay. health to make use of it. I wonder if we'll I'll have take any it. more boot icons I'll take on it. Twitter this week. Yeah, I'll I take like it. that. That was I know fun. you did. I know you did. We, we got in on it. The we thing is, the though, ones. if we do that regularly, Pom Pom, everybody's going to be changing something every single patch to make sure they get it in the patch. Void uh. Shield up next yep. for Wait, what? the nerf bat again. It's all nerf. Void Shield? Boys, at least for a little while. Void Shield is going to have its cost increased by 100 gold, making it 2,700 total. And not only that, the reduced physical protections from 50 to 40. Yes. So okay. we actually recently buffed it so that it had extra penetration on the aura. Um, and that Where made the it a fuck very did this nerf come from? Who wanted to be offensive because 20 pen is really good, especially when you can share that to your entire team. Mm -hmm. um, it also had power and it had protection, so well, you shit. can kind of get into a fight, stay alive for a really long time, and provide this huge DPS increase well, for your team. We like that shit. it's this item that can give you a huge DPS increase, but the survivability was too much, mm -hmm. so we're toning that down. Mm. And we're also making it a little bit more expensive, so you have to commit a little bit more to this kind of build. But that's not the only thing that's getting nerfed mm -hmm. in terms of physical defense here as well. We're going to have <sighs> Witchblade also getting changed yes! this patch. No cost yeah. adjustment on this, but it is going to drop a little bit in the physical Thank you! from 60. I hate Witchblade. We just buffed that. Witchblade is such a shitty yeah, item, dude. So the big thing there is... Fucking um, hate Witchblade. It's very powerful aura effect, kind of like Void Shield, yep. where this aura effect is very potent at stopping certain types of damage and at 40 protections it wasn't giving you enough i don't know that the new like builds are gonna be man all the physical damage you're going to face in t an entire game so he brought it to 60 that was a little bit too much so now we're bringing it down to 50. Wood so shield might still, still be really good this item, but it's very still good know. at countering what it's supposed to counter which is the basic attack builds okay so that's the changes to all the items this patch and we'll move on to towards the god palace now i think mm -hmm. the items so far pretty much things that people have asked for so far onto the gods we go pop up before we even get into the gods here which one is your favorite? Just say the first letter of the name. Your favorite change. <laughs> My favorite change? Favorite change. Uh, it's actually probably C. Oh, really? C. What? I think it's interesting. Okay. God Lines change. R. What the fuck are they doing? R. I'll say R. For sure. Ra? Let's go in then. We're going to start off with A, hopefully. Ron Cupid. We should be Ron Cupid. Agony is the first yeah. one to get a change. Now, mm. this one, a little bit different here, Pompon. It's a small change, but we're actually going to show it in game as well mm -hmm. because what it is, it's Flame Wave. We're going to increase the persist time of Flame Wave from 0.5 seconds to a whole one second. Pompon, what does that mean? And why do we need to show it in game? Yeah, so so the players who don't know this, most players do, but mo players who don't know this, you can actually combo Flame Wave and Noxious Fumes two in one. a certain way. Yep. You 2 1. So if you throw that out and then you throw Gas Cloud out, you can actually detonate that stun with the Flame Wave that you threw out first. Mm -hmm. And that's really good at stunning people very quickly. But if your latency was a little bit high, even if it wasn't even high, if it was like 50, it was inconsistent, unreliable, and it actually made a difference that when players were at LAN, they had a noticeable different experience with Agni than they did playing at home, and that's not something we want. <laughs> okay. So we increased Flame Wave. So Flame Wave, as you can see, you actually probably won't be able to see it, but essentially it'll persist for a little it bit longer, longer than Oh, it did. the black so is still there on the ground. you have an extra 0.5 seconds to actually use Noxious Fumes and get that effect. Now hold up, quick question for you here as well, right? 
That doesn't mean you can be hit twice by it, though, because it persists, nope. right? Or nope, if you got hit by it, you're going to get hit by it once. You okay. can't walk in and out. You can't do the shake and bake. Oh, um, and raw is, fucking really just a hit more than once. So that means if you walk <laughs> into that field why it's out, there's a slightly longer period where you can get hit by it. Gotcha. But that shouldn't have too much of an impact. On top of that as well. And if it's about right. that, AJ? Six, six, seven. A nice little change. Oh, wow. Greetings from oh, Holland, great. week three and Cal. Hey, well. yeah, yeah, what up, brother? Thank you for the three dollars. Things change with the feel of the ability. It just leaves a fire field a little bit longer so that you can make use of it and actually use noxious fumes without having to be on super low latency. Cool. Well, we'll see how that one works out. I reckon right, it's a, good a little bit more of a buff because obviously the two-one combo was there, but it was not bet. that easy to confirm every single time. And even if you did, you know, you will only be able to really get the stun, not the damage as well. Now, essentially, both of them. Next up. Yep. Is C where Pompon said his favorite oh, train? Oh, yes, this, this is Chiron. the C that I was talking no, about. No, it was. Oh, no, no it's Chiron Cuban too. Okay, fixed a rare issue where Chiron would revive even if he did not get a kill during his ultimate. So, just a quick bug fix there on Chiron. Nice. An important bug fix as well, but it has been fixed nonetheless. And then moving on to the God of Love is up next. Yep. Bad. What the they do to him? People have been talking about already, and there's a lot of things to go over with Cupid here. So, what do they what do, we'll do to do Cupid? We'll actually take you into game and go you through every single one of the abilities. Uh, just so you guys at home can see exactly Holy what's going shit. on with Cupid. What did they First change? First of all, the, the passive love struck is still staying the same, Pompon, in some ways. Yeah, it is. So, um, let me do this really quick. Come on, Pon. Come on, Pon. Because I have to actually level up something to show the effect of it, so I had to do that first. So, for you guys so, at home, the, the love struck at the moment on the left-hand side, it's still going to take eight of those hearts to be able to mm -hmm. activate well, that and before? additional effects, but the effects are different this time around. Yeah, so... Love struck has been just kind of accommodated and the tooltip has been updated, but it basically functions the same way. You auto attack, you get hearts, and then you can spend hearts to get additional effects. Gotcha. Now, as he's killing that bot and getting his hearts up, the first thing we'll mention is now Heart Bomb. These are the changes for it. We'll go back to him in the patch as well, but we've increased the cooldown of Heart Bomb from 10 seconds to 12 seconds, but we have also increased the radius of the Heart Bomb's explosion area from 20 to 30. That's a big area. Mm -hmm. And not only that, you also saw the effects there as well that nice show where it's going to detonate around. Yeah, so the big thing there is it basically functions the same, it has a slightly longer cooldown, but that's because it now hits in a larger area. And the important thing to note there with that is that it will now, if you hit the right minion, yeah. you can actually hit the full wave with it now. Cool. So it's actually increasing his wave clear as well. Mm -hmm. And in team fights, it comes out much, much larger. What does it do, though? That's like, is it a stun bomb as well, clear? not just damage, but make sure you get the passive on. You still get the usual stun oh, always bomb eight. ability. I don't know why I thought it was Next up is Share the Love, which is his heart, as we all know. Yep. And the big thing about this is it no longer consumes your passive. Yep, it does it. It interacts with your passive as much as I think it gives you healing right. increase, but um, two percent right. per. But it now no longer oh, cool. actually takes any stacks to use. So to be clear, if you're That's on your good. eight stacks, you will get a really better, a much better heal from this, but you won't consume mm -hmm. the, that passive. Yeah, and the big thing there was a lot of players like they want to use this ability to heal up yeah. and to sustain themselves, but losing out on the stun on your one or your stun on your ultimate was a huge loss. Okay. So we have pulled it. And the next thing on yeah, your it list was ten a long time ago. This week is going to be flutter as well. It no longer provides attack speed when you cast pom pom. Mm -hmm. However, do. it does provide passive attack speed now, going from four up to twenty percent of max rank, yep. as well as the cooldown of flutter has changed as well. It's from it used to be nineteen to fifteen. It's now sixteen to twelve. But it doesn't what your passive as usual. Yep, so you can what? see there, when Each I rank up, gives you rank, I went 4%? from 1.29 to, I think, 1.48. Yep. So that is a 20% increase in what it does. Yeah, for you guys at home, 20% of match rank increase of attack speed, and you don't have to pop it or use oh. it to get that attack speed so increase. always 20, just 4% yep. per rank. It, I still have the same what the attack shit? speed when it falls off. I will still have the same attack speed. It's entirely passive now. It's a little bit lower than it was, but you no longer have to actually use your skate to oh, trigger Oh my gosh, um, Cupid's going to be a meta, as bro. Well as, um... Go away, Cupid. There's one additional thing. Yeah, the cooldown also the went down do. so that you can actually use it more in the mid and late game. That's correct, So that when yeah. you actually have ranked it up, it will provide you with a more reliable escape. Just remind you the cooldown of the floor again. It used to be 19 seconds at lowest rank up to 15 seconds at max rank. It's now 16 seconds in the early game. Wait, so it what does it give him now if he's in it? In the latest stage, so it functions a little bit more like all the other hunters in terms of or something? it's there for escape ability or gap close more than an attack speed buff as well. Mm -hmm. And then finally, Fields of Love did get a bit of a change here. We'd be at 1,300 subs, bro. Functions with Love Struck, and the Fields of Love now mesmerize enemies for 1.5 seconds when activated with At this rate, we're not going to get there, and I'm not going to have to cosplay. Hearts, it's now be. mesmerize for Busy three seconds. Yeah, so the big thing here is we removed the stun component because yes. the stun stacking was a little bit awkward and weird. 
Um, you were getting a one second stun from the one, you had a stun and a mez effect on the ultimate. And so we've cleaned it up and we gave it a much more powerful mesmerize effect when you have it at full stacks. So you can mez. see here if I ult these Odin bots with seven, yeah, that was seven. Mez. for the damage. Small one. And then if I go for the full stack one, yeah. which let me, I need to spawn new Odins because I think they will have DR on them now. I spawn, if I hit this one. Yay! Much longer mez. Much longer. Long mez, but like. That's combo con at max rank. Combo yeah. con at That's such a weird. Longer than mesmerize as well. A big damage so nuke into a mez. Basically, he's getting a lot of changes with making the usage of love struck a little bit better so that you can you can use the stacks when you want. Um, the one is going to be more powerful. I mean, it's way nice changes. Cooldown. It's just weird. The dash no longer is tied to your attack speed stim, so you can actually use the, your attack speed kind of just all the time instead of having to use your escape to use it. Yep. Um, and just mainly cleaned up kind of how he plays and how he uses his heart so that it's a little bit more intuitive, it makes a little bit more sense, and it helps him out at various stages of the game. Gotcha. Just wanted to scroll up at the bottom of the screen there, production as well, just so they can reread through this in mm -hmm. their own see it on the screen itself. So go straight back to the top. Love struck overall here. Tooltip has been adjusted to accommodate the changes listed below. Heart bomb. Next up, increased cooldown from 10 seconds to 12 seconds. However, the increased radius of the heart bomb's explosionary from an area. And it's clear really to see with the new effects. Annoying. Share the love that no longer consumes your love struck hearts. At the same time as Flutter no longer gives you attack speed, it gives you passive attack speed that scales up and also the cooldown is lowered on that, as you can see. And then finally, like Fields of Love is now only a 1.5 second more mesmerize. More in line with every Although other game. if you game. have your love passive, it'll be a three second mesmerize as well. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Cool. cool stuff. After that, right. still What's more gods to come. And then they've got to start things off next with Fafnir. On the list, it's a bit of a, just a bug fix here with him. Fixed say, Griffin Dwarf Fafnir in Griffin form, not having his laugh audio. Yeah, that's a that's a true shame. When you're that giant, OP, giant thing, probably in meta. Audio, I don't know about OP. I know some of the pro players will be very happy about that. I see a lot of next keeping. up is a mid lane god that's not seen as much no. play as she. What are you doing, to ISIS? Isis. Hmm? Well, Isis dispatch no. was the main name of this pom pom. So the big thing is she was very dominant previously. She had a lot going for her. Her wing gust was clearing the wave pretty much instantly, especially when there was purple pot. Yep. Purple pot largely enabled her to dominate the early game pretty <clears> handedly. <throat> Not much. No one could really compete with her too much, um, and so and we actually toned down out, her wingus back then. Better. Um, and then we also later on hit purple pots, and I can only get at level ten. That's true. So the problem that was causing her to be too strong that we nerfed her for has now been fixed. So we're reverting the previous nerf to and bring her kind of back into the scene. Of the previous nerf is thirty percent from wingus is now going to forty percent of scaling on that ability as well. So we should see a bit more play okay. again, a little bit more yep. dominant back in the. We're not seeing ISIS. Yeah, it's not seeing ISIS. It's okay, guys. Really has four gusts. That's a forty percent increase overall. Mm -hmm. So, cool, good opportunity. Okay, there. guys. ISIS. So next up, I won't Nova see much I ISIS. Is a Nami next up? She will still clear, and it will still be annoying, but it's not like she's broken. Uh, so Izanami has been underperforming a little bit from where you'd want her to be. Okay. Um, she is a character <laughs> who's very difficult. She has the auto attacks that you have to hit twice to actually get the full We're effect. Doing the um, she's very position oriented. Her shots are very much skill shot oriented. They are kind of harder to land. Um, and so we're doing a few adjustments here to help her um, box a little bit more efficiently, kind of scale a little bit more efficiently, and then we're also fixing kind of a weird scenario that was happening. So we can go into those changes and I can talk about we'll them kind of individually. Now. General, is Anami's basic attacks now deal 75% damage going out and 25% damage coming back towards... That's smart. Them. It used to be 50-50, so 75, mm -hmm. 25, That's so it's easy to get more of that damage off. And the base attack speed has also increased from 0.85 to 0.95. That's just that, but also we have fade away as well. Izanami is now invisible to minions when she begins channeling Fade Away. Explain yeah. that one, Pom Pom. So the Fade Away one is if you would damage someone, archers are hitting you. And yep. then if you cast Fade Away and you leap, archers are still trying to hit you. And so if they fired an arrow before you left, but before it connected, you'd yeah, be stealth, be and then you'd get hit by a straight arrow, and, and you'd be immediately unstealth. Yeah, that would be So we fixed dumb. that, essentially. And it kind of adds... We fixed it, and it also adds an interesting option for her. She can kind of go in and fight into a minion wave and then leave kind of immediately. Okay. So she has a little bit of option there, too, but this is mainly to get around a kind of weird interaction with her stealth and The nerf to her autos? No, not the fuck. Uh, no, she the dropped to her autos. She's okay. invisible to them. In case you miss the swing okay, back, you automatically get 75% damage. A little bit more front-ended on those basic attacks. Next up is a god that a lot of people have asked for uh, for changes, and we just touched mm -hmm. this god. What the fuck are they doing to Nemesis? So, Nemesis. <laughs> yeah, it's Nemesis. Yes, yeah, Nemesis. So, the big thing here, kind of before we go into the, this change, is she was a character that we buffed a lot. Um, she was kind of struggling for a long time. Um, and then we kept buffing, kept buffing. And then we also made a few other changes that were indirect buffs to her, which yep. was the removal of Red Potion, so that she 
Um, the characters who made use of it were kind of outboxing her, and when they were kind of brought on a more even level, she took off. As well as we added Wrath, which is a stun, and that gave her an extra additional utility tool and clear, so she could also keep up with people a little bit better. And those two changes combined with the previous buff kind of put her in, into this new position of being really dominant in the meta. Um, we kind of looked at where her strengths were, You're and nerfing. that was mostly on the early game. She was, she's kind of this late game hyper tank shredder, and she can kind of be a shot caller in the late game. But in the early game, she was doing that too effectively as well, and so the previous nerf was to her cooldown. Especially in the early game, it was a lot longer. We're doing a similar adjustment here towards our ultimate. Well, let's have a look at the ultimate. And Divine Judgment is the only thing getting changed this patch. And it's going to be a damage reduced from 30 to 50, sorry, 30 skin to 50% of the current target's health. Holy shit. To 40% of target's current health. Nemesis sucks. <laughs> The ah! speed Nemesis is poop. Increased from 25% of all ranks. What are they doing, bro? To 25% the late game. Nemesis so, doesn't yes, do anything uh, early game now. What yeah, the so shit? Yeah, so the big thing is we, we toned down the damage overall because it was providing a <clears> lot of shred, <throat> especially on full health targets. Um, it also what? shreds protection, so that's kind of another form of damage on the target. Bro. Um, as well as the slow in the early game. Okay, was well, 50 movement speed Nemesis swing, isn't getting picked anymore speed. in the SPL. You took 25 <clears> away and you got 25%. So now we're closing that gap in the early game, so it's more of, now it's only a 30% swing. So this should tone down our early ganks a little bit more. There's we'll have some other jungler then. I need to play some other jungler. But this should help players awesome. kind of react to her ganks a little bit more effectively in the early game. Awesome. We'll see if that's enough for Nemesis to be brought back to where people wanted mm -hmm. to be. Najar is the next one up, and we saw this a little bit earlier on. Oh, what are they doing? Too much, but Don't buff. The visual presentation oh, okay. Of the critical okay, no buff. circles on the ultimate. Yeah, Obviously, I'm really happy with those. Those petals are on every single one of those gods of uh, Najar's skin. Yep, they are. Awesome. Next up is the one I was looking forward to, Raijin. Yeah, Raijin. What, what's happening? Oh, to they're nerfing Raijin. Oh, this is the this is the R. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, did you not realize? I, I totally forgot, and so I thought thinking you were talking about the next one. Like, why is that super hype to you? No, no, no. This is. <laughs> yeah, so Raijin is very good in the early game at bullying, and he has very good burst on his Raijin Thunder Crash combo. Yep. Um, and so we're directly hitting the Raijin Thunder Crash combo. And here is the changes. Raiju reduced the damage from 80 to 260 is now going to be 60. Wow. To That's a lot of damage. 40 late game, 20 early game change there, as well as increase the magical power scale. Dang! The double nerf. Oh, that that, that burst combo is gone now, I think. It's not happening. Wait, Just what? It's not happening. Okay. Just okay, so, so no so thunder crash. On there. I'm the patch notes yes. Yes, it's just going to be a overall damage reduction there. Okay, no it's a Raiju. No changes at all. And thunder crash as well. This one is the one with the scaling, sorry. Idiot, just like Pompon. Not as bad as Pompon, though, because he makes more mistakes than me. It's going to hey. be reduced scaling. Oh, they are reducing both. From okay. Crash from 40 so both are getting nerfed. 20%. Yes. Both so things overall, are getting nerfed. Okay. Thunder okay, Crash okay. is getting a damage reduction in how it scales into the late game. That combo as well as at like level four is, is actually too much fucking damage, damage. Overall through all stages of the game. Gotcha. And the big thing there is, especially when he's building like the red pot or, or not red potion, red buff in the early game, he has a like. At level four, that combo does like half your health on a mage. His combo is going to be dealing significantly less. Yeah, a bit less of a tone down on Raijin. And then next up, we've still got two more gods to go, but the next one is going to be Ratatoska. And this is more of a bug fix than anything. Ratatoska, during through the cosmos, will now go the proper distance when cancelling yeah. this ability at maximum range. Okay. We've also fixed the radius being listed incorrectly on the tooltip as well. Everybody. Yeah. Jolly good. We have fixed things about it. And the final god to be balanced this patch. What do you think it is, Pom? Uh, well, yeah. it is definitely after R. Yeah, I can confirm good. that. Great start. Great start. It's probably a guardian of some form. It in is. an earthly form. It is an earthly garden. It's but it's not pure rock. Well, it's Terra. <laughs> it's Terra. It's Terra. First thing I'll say is the passive on this god had a bit of a fix this patch. We fixed an issue where the bonus damage was being calculated Every, as true they damage. They can't see me, but other team. people can. She's the camera. She do damage. She does enough as it is. Yeah, not true damage. But we're also going to be changing Crushing Earth. It used to have a slow field. Well, it has a slow field on it at the moment mm -hmm. between the standing stones. We're actually just going to remove that pom-pom. Yeah, so this kind of goes with her kind of the theme of the nurse that we're going for. Yep. She brings a lot of utility to your team. She has the ultimate, which Donna is global does not heals, need a nerf, guys. reduction and everything. She Donna's also has a lot fine. of lane pressure. She can set up a lot of kills really easily. If she if you get caught in that wall crush, oh, they remove the slow dash into a monolith and root you, you're going to be that seriously slow hurt for a very long time. Actually um, and is one of the kind of most annoying the parts of Terra. Element, so people could yeah, close out a bit sooner. Um, we still have the slow field on it and the slow field made it a little bit too free for people to get hit. So we're removing that slow field so people have a little bit more opportunity to get out of it. Okay. Um, and then the other changes going up. Oh, that's we'll my also nephew. Talk a little bit about. And the here we go. The next one up is going to be the monolith. The three ability root duration decreased from 1.5 seconds to only one second. Dang, they're hitting Terra hard, bro. Just 
Uh, again, it's, I mean, the it's heal's still going to be SD. annoying, if but damn. If you're in the laning phase and you get wall crushed into the monolith, that's a lot of damage. It's a lot of control on you. We should just kind of toning that back down a little bit uh. so that it's not so much. Yeah, of without a, the slow, the crushing earth is going to suck. Not so much free pressure in the lane. And finally, the last thing on Terra that's also going to get changed this patch: a cooldown increase first. from on the ultimate of Terra's blessing. A cooldown increase from 90 seconds. It now that's goes to 110, nice. starting and scales down to 90 seconds as you level this ability up. Mm -hmm. So late game is still going to be as effective as it was. Yeah, so it's just going to take a little bit longer in the other game. At the late game stages, it's going to be as useful as it is. Um, her ability to provide global presence to a team, especially in the early game, was just a little bit too much, and so we're turning that back down. So the, the whole nerf overall is... So Terra might mix. not get played um, as we much. We some of her con lane, lane control, and we reduce some of her global control. So she's not going to be as powerful in the early game at setting up kills. She'll still be able to contribute to her team really effectively, but it's just toned down. Well, there you have it. That's all the patch notes there with the items and balance changes of the gods as well. But we still got time for Q&A at the end. I mean, maybe it's able to get mm -hmm. one or two That's it, guys. in here as well. Patch notes are over. Patch, if you want to send well, I'm done watching this because I don't about, care about Q&A. I'm going to go get food and then I get scrims and then I'll stream tonight. Maybe I'll let my, my nephew scrim for me because I don't have to scrim. I wonder if my team will notice. Anyway, have a good night, guys. I will see you all, like I said, 10 p.m. Eastern. Hopefully, scrims are over then because last night they went really, really late. So, uh, yeah. I'll see you all later. Have a good night, guys.